Hey, welcome back to the show. I missed your little face. <laughs> I was reading your comments and I found that you want to go on an Easter egg hunt in the Disney movie Lilo and Stitch. I agree, and I think it's time. Get ready, gents and gentlemen. These Easter eggs are going to be out of this world. <laughs> The opening scene of the entire movie starts in outer space and we learn that there's no limit that Mickey can't reach. If you look right over there you will see a Mickey on the wall. Also right next to him you can see a hint to Oswald the rabbit. You're crazy. Now when I point out some of these hidden Mickeys, some people are often thinking I'm on something and they're not real easter eggs. No! Crazy head! By the end of this video, you too are going to be screaming, That's a Mickey! When the alien thing is calculating where in the world 626, soon to be known as Stitch, is going to land on Earth, listen and you will hear him say, Area 51. Area 51. That's a video game, but they're probably referring to the famous military base where it's believed the government has aliens or extraterrestrial life and they're holding them captive and they're doing super secret mad scientist tests on them. I prefer to be called Evil Genius! In Lilo's room we have a few fun little goodies for you to find. On the paint easel you see our favorite elephant, Dumbo, otherwise known as Miss Jumbo's baby. Baby. When Stitch creates his own mini city simply for him to destroy, look closely to the right hand side and you're gonna see A113, the license plate. That's not all that we're gonna see in her room though. On her photo wall full of tours that are larger than life, aren't they beautiful? If you look closely, you will see that she got a picture of Mickey up there too. Let's take a brief moment to learn about the Hawaiian language, shall we? The sign on Lilo's door, Kapu, which now all Hawaiians hate me because I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> but it means keep out, basically. There were also only 12 letters in the original Hawaiian alphabet, or 13 depending on who you ask. His name is Stitch. Oh, no, that's not a real name. <laughs> in Iceland. Okay, so the reason why the dog pound lady said that Stitch isn't a real name is because the word Stitch is made up with a bunch of letters that are not in the Hawaiian alphabet. Haha, <laughs> cool! Why do you act so weird? Fun little fact, Hawaii was the last state to join as the 50th state of, of the United States. And that happened August 21st, 1959. So if you're watching this on August 21st, say happy birthday to Hawaii. We can see 1959 on the stamp when Lilo borrows a few bucks to buy a stitch. If you look closer at the proof of purchase though, you will see it's anything but that. It's actually a letter from the directors and producer of the movie to the art departments and all the companies involved in making Lilo and Stitch, basically saying, good job. If you want to read what it says, you're going to have to pause the video because the rest of us are moving on. And I'm not sure where else to say this, so here you go. The pound had a turtle in it. When Jumbo and Dumbo, uh, or was it Zumba and Jumba? Jumba and Pleakley. Well anyways, when they first meet in the prison cell, you can see that Jumba's counting how many days he's been in there, which shows a lot of time went by from the time they sentenced Jumba to the time that Stitch escaped to Earth. The TV store here isn't showing a fake movie. That's actually a scene from the 1958 movie Earth vs. Spider. Basically, it's about a giant spider that destroys everything it sees. <laughs> no wonder Bad Stitch likes it so much. His destructive programming is taking effect. He will be irresistibly drawn to large cities where he will back up sewers, reverse street signs, and steal everyone's left shoe. Um, let's, let's do survey time real quick while I try to find my other shoe. I can't seem to find where I put it anywhere. For today's survey time, we will test your knowledge on the movie Lilo and Stitch. No. What island did Stitch land on? A Kauai, B Maui, C Oahu, or D Molokai. Click the little I in the corner and vote, or leave a comment below and let me know, you know, which island he landed on. If you don't know the answer, I'll tell you the answer at the end of the show. I was wondering. You're not doing anything this- David, I told you, I can't. Obviously, David desperately wants Nani to date him. She likes your butt and fancy hair. I know, I read her diary. But if only he had the power of a demigod. Do you see that? 
gonna get my hook. You guessed it, this is where they got the inspiration for Maui's hook in Moana. It's Maui time! Aw, oh, David, I owe you one. That's okay. You can just date me and we'll call it even. Maybe instead of trying to find her a job to impress her, maybe he should be showing off his hook skills. I think that's a great idea. See the ball up there? Does it look familiar? Hmm. Where did I see that before? Red star, and it's a blue and yellow ball. Hmm. Sounds a lot like the Pixar ball. I don't think so. But Pixar didn't make Lilo and Stitch. Uh, hey! When Lilo and Stitch are having a ball, <laughs> see what I just did there? Look hard. At the Orlando postcard, and you will recognize that's Cinderella's castle from Disney World, which is also in Orlando. No more caffeine for you. Lilo has a dark side. She likes experimenting with voodoo. My friends need to be punished. She also has a wild imagination. Remember she told her friends that she likes to pretend her doll is going to die in a few days? So I pretend the bug laid eggs in her ears. And she's upset because she only has a few more days to... That's a little hint, or what we call foresight, to what's gonna happen in just a few days. That's right, that doll's gonna die. Just not from a bunch of bugs in its head, it's because Stitch put a bomb in its gut. Computer, locate experiment 626. Stitch's real name is 626. 626 just happens to also be an area code in California near Disneyland, where it's rumored that the creators of the movie live. Couldn't confirm if that was true or not. Chris Sanders and Dean DeVall are the directors of the movie Lilo and Stitch, and both of them found a way into the movie. Chris Sanders ended up being the voice for Stitch. And when Stitch is destroying the beach, we see Chris Sanders and Dean DeVall. By the way, that smiley face on the hat is not a hidden smiley face for today's contest. That's right, Disney's been hiding smiles in their movies too. Here, educate yourself. I'm sure you've heard of this movie called, uh, Mulan, right? My eyes can see straight through your armor. Oh! We already talked about the movie Mulan, but did you know that she's hiding all over the place in this movie? Here we can see a Mulan a walk store. Later on, when they're trashing the house with a love bug, you can see a not so subtle Mulan poster over there on the wall with her loyal horse. Unfortunately, Juma trashes the poster as well. Mr. Bubbles, or should I say Cobra Bubbles, lets out a little bit of a secret about aliens at the end of the movie. Here, when Grand Councilwoman thinks she recognizes him from an earlier incident that she dealt with here on Earth. CIA, Roswell, 1973. Roswell, 1973 is making a reference to a big UFO conspiracy that happened back in the 1970s, where a lot of people think the government captured a UFO and covered it up by saying it was simply a weather balloon. Please disperse. Nothing to see here. Convinced an alien race that mosquitoes were an endangered species. Also, even though Mr. Bubbles seems very concerned about the safety of Lilo, good day. And he always seems to be there at the worst possible time. He seems to miss the simple fact that Lilo here was swimming with a shark, a hammerhead shark to be precise. Of course, for a native Hawaiian surrounded by water, they might not think it's such a big deal to swim with sharks. Me, being surrounded by desert, the only thing I know about the ocean is what I learned from Nemo and Jaws. <gasps> Which basically says, don't swim with sharks. If you're an Elvis fan, I'm sure you noticed a bunch of his music was played in the movie. And Stitch at one point was wearing his outfit while performing one of his songs. In the credits, we see the whole family getting to pose for a picture in front of some random mansion behind a massive gate. Well, that mansion is actually Elvis's home in Graceland. A113 shows up again on the fire truck here that rolls over to the house that just blew up. We can see it on the front of the truck and the back of the truck. Later on, when Stitch saves the day and rescues Lilo by blowing up a gas truck, if you look, you will see the license plate of the gas truck is also the famous A113. If you don't know what in the world this A113 is, you should go watch some of my older videos and educate yourself. Yes, I know. Since Stitch destroyed Nani's last love bug, she got a new one. A better one. Probably from the government. But the fun part is the license plate here is A113. 
When we're looking at the sign of Mulan on the wall, you may have noticed the other wall has a random Duke poster. That's Duke Kahanamoku. Basically, he's famous in Hawaii for lighting a fire of the passion for surfing over there. He was also a five-time Olympic medalist for swimming. In the credits, we see another family photo op in front of a random statue in Hawaii. You guessed that that's actually a statue of Duke. And yes, there really is a statue like that in Hawaii. Am I to assume you are the expert? Oh, I don't know about the expert. <laughs> now let's talk about the star of Disney, Mickey Mouse. When Nani lets Cobra Bubbles in through the laundry room, if you look up in the top of the shelf, you will see a bottle of Mickey soap is sitting up there. When Captain Gontu's flying around in his little spaceship, we see another Mickey on the dashboard with the controls. When Lilo and Stitch are playing Dr. Frankenstein on the doll, look at the nail on the boot and you will see the shadow is a shape of the Mickey. Or how about the spot on the table? Mickey. Down here on the leg? Yep, Mickey. There's Mickeys everywhere. Let's talk about Mickey. Mickey, 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 Mickey. No! Crazy head! Here, here, yep, here, and here. When Nani is running home, we see a hidden Mickey made out of rocks on the wall. If you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you already recognize this shirt from earlier. You got to vote on what color shirt we we're gonna put this on, and the winner is blue. And I have a whole new line of shirts coming to crazynate.com, like this one, obviously. Now I hit five Easter eggs in this video. Try to find them all and include hashtag UFO for your chance to win one of my shirts, like this one, or the Shared Smile shirt, or many more that are coming. Also, there are still a few more days for you to enter the win the Nintendo Switch. For more on that, go to crazynate.com. Until next time, subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure and click the little bell before the monsters do. Most importantly of all, Ginger Gentlets, share a smile. They are contagious. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. But if you want to leave, you can.